Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 39 for our Palo Alto Firewall Training Series. In this video, we'll talk about SSL decryption in Palo Alto Firewall. So, in this module, we have a lot of topics that we need to cover, like uh, the de decryption concept, the certificate management, there is SSL forward, inbound inspection, and there are a lot more things which we need to discuss in this module. And the base of this module is SSL. Okay, so if you understand what is SSL and how it works, then you will be able to understand this concept very clearly. Otherwise, you will not be able to understand what exactly happening. So in this video, I'll be talking about what is SSL and what is SSL handshake. So let's suppose if a client is uh, initiating a SSL connection with the server, what are the negotiation they do i'll be talking about in very detailed manner with the help of wireshark capture okay so i'll request you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand what is ssl and what is the handshake they do when they establish a ssl connection so that you will be able to understand the decryption how it works in palo alto firewall and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll understand what is SSL. If I tell you in very simple words what SSL is all about, it encrypts your internet traffic. How it is, I will see with the help of this diagram. So let's say, this is your PC and you are doing some shopping on e-commerce website and this traffic is a clear text right there's no encryption on it right and this as this is a public website anybody can access it is on internet it is not at a secure or a private place right on internet there are a lot of hackers that they will do monitoring and all those things right so let's say you have selected a product and you want to buy that so to buy it redirects to bank website and there you have to put your username and password right now once you you put your username and password the hacker will once they sniff the data they can get to know what is the username and password and they can do some illegal transaction as well right so to provide security to this traffic SSL is responsible for this with the help of SSL nobody knows what you are doing on this e-commerce website because the traffic will be secured right so with the help of SSL, you just understand that it encrypts your traffic on internet, right? So friends, now we'll understand what is ha SSL handshakes. So in VPN, what we have seen, uh, there will be two phases, right? So phase one and phase two. So phase one is dedicated for key exchange where we exchange how what are the algorithms that we are using to generate key and exchanging the key right in phase two what we exchange is for data right what algorithm that we are using to encrypt the data and all those things right so phase one is dedicated for key and phase two is dedicated for data same way we have something uh, which i'm going to explain in the a hand check that where the key will be used and where the data will be used so stay tuned and watch this video till then it will be very interesting so friends the first message is a client hello which goes from client to the server right this is the first message that we are seeing over here so in client hello as we have done a packet capture, we'll just go to that packet capture and I'll show you. So as you can see, it's a client hello, right? Which is sent from this client machine to this server 
okay so what are the information that is available over here okay as you can see what is the version that this browser is supporting okay as we are at the uh, version of the browser that supports which is the version that SSL version so TLS 1.0 right and these are the cipher shoots which is available on the system itself where we can see this I'll show you if you go to registry so registry okay go to registry and go to system current control you can just check this out this path and if you open this one you will see all the cipher suits that are available on your system will be sent on this client hello message okay see this all this so how many suits 30 suits are there which is sent from the client to the server okay which is stored over here right now this is the location so friends now the server responds with server hello and a certificate and hello done right so to understand this one we need to understand something about certificate okay so basically to understand this certificate I'll just give you a very small example let's say this is your government and the government has formed university right now in this university if any student goes and completes its studies he will get a degree this degree will be recognized by this university and this university will be recognized by this government same way we'll have a root CA and root CA will form a CA and then these CAs will issue certificates to the devices as here the students are the devices so let's say if this device wants to trust to this device they need to get a certificate from this CS, right? Then only they will trust each other and they can make a connection. Okay. So same way it will be here as well. So in server hello message, it accepts all the cipher suits. So it accepts the cipher suits and after that he sends his certificate and also with the certificate he sends a public key i'll tell you why it sends but it sends such now we'll go to the capture and we'll see those informations okay now we'll go to the second packet and we'll see go to ssl hello okay so as you can see over here that is it has chosen the cipher suit okay so it has chosen the cipher suit now it sends a certificate the certificate click on certificate certificate sign certificate and it also sends a public key as well the issuer name whatever you see and also it sends a public key information as well okay now how PC will verify whether this certificate is uh, is genuine or not so to find out let's let's suppose we'll go to google.com okay this is our google.com and once we'll see the certificate information over here we see that this has been issued by this root CA right the global sign roots here and if you want to find it out where the certificates are you can go to uh, there are two places which where you can find that okay 
maybe you can go to the settings okay try to find certificates view certificates and go to your authorities okay these are the third certificate information which are there and you can go to your certificate directory trusted certificates so you can find over here as well okay now as you can see for google we are global sign root ca as you will be seeing over here as well global sign root ca right so your pc is trusting your root ca that is the reason there is no message that has been occurred for whenever you went to this website now i'll just try to open okay my eve ng okay so it is 192 168 202 129 right ad is saying it is not secure issued by eve ng example certification path if you try to find this certificate eve ng there is no that is the reason it says that this ca root certificate is not trusted because it's not in root certificate authority so it is not there that is the reason it is not trusting it so this is how your browser or your pc determines that this website certificate is valid or not okay so friends now as we have seen like the server has chosen the cipher suit the ssl version and he sends the certificate and the public key okay so i showed you how pc verifies the certificate and after verifying the certificate he generates a pre master key with a lot of information which we cannot predict it so that this key will be unpredictable we would we are not sure what are the parameter it uses to uh, predict this uh, pre master key now once this pre master key is generated with the help of this public key it will be encrypted and sent to the server right now server will have his private key as this is encrypted by the server public key it can be decrypt with the private key of the server now he also got that pre master key right the both client and the server they have the pre master key now the same you can see over here as well the client key exchange so here i am not uh, talking about any client certificate so avoid these things okay so avoid this information or this is not mandatory every time so in practically you uh, the server will not ask the client certificate in uh, some other scenarios i'll talk about later so you just avoid this client certificate messages okay so now friends we'll go to the capture and we'll see the next message okay so uh, this is the third message so it sends as i told that it sends a pre master secret key so with the help of uh, encrypting this pre master key with the help of public key of the server and it sends to the server right so that he can decrypt with this private key okay now we will move on and we'll see uh, what would be the next one right so friends now uh, the the client and the server both are having the pre master key right they are having the same pre master key with the help of their uh, the cipher suit they will generate 
असेशन की ओके सेशन की सेम वे हियर द सेशन की ओके देर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विच इन्वॉल्व जनरेटिंग दिस सेशन की और यू कैन सी प्रीशेड की और मास्टर की वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू से यू कैन से इट दैट नॉट दिस साइफर शूट देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स और ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व जनरेटिंग दिस सेशन की नाउ आफ्टर दिस सेशन की जनरेट्स दे विल चेंज देयर स्पेक्स तो दे विल चेंज देयर साइफर स्पेक्स ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट whenever they want to send any data they will use this session key encrypt the data and sends to the server now server with the help of session key he will decrypt the data and he gets the data so you just understand the phase 1 as i told at the starting in the vpn will have phase 1 right and phase 2 okay so in phase 1 will have a negotiation to exchange the key same way we have a negotiation over here to exchange the key this pre master key right and we have got the pre master key and after that after here we have got phase 2 which is like they have changed the specs and they have got the session key and after that the data flows over here so there was one negotiation over here which is known as phase 1 and there was an again the cipher change which is phase 2 where the data gets flow so this is known as phase 2 like this is just an example i just illustrated the ssl handshake with the help of the vpn what we know the vpn phase 1 and phase 2 so i just uh, compared or the example to make you understand how the ssl handshake works so that uh, it will be clearer for you okay so now the last thing what was done is so friends uh, if i repeat all those things so first the cipher suits gets exchange okay and after that it choose the uh, cipher suits as a ssl version and he sends the certificate and the public key now he generates the pre master key encrypts with the help of public key and sends to the server and both will have the pre master key then they generates the session key and they'll start uh, they'll change the cipher specs and they'll start sending the data so this is how the ssl handshake goes you need to understand it very clearly to understand how decryption works so in the next video i'll be covering how the ssl decryption works if you have any other explanation about the ssl handshake please do comment okay and this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you like if you have increase your knowledge or if you got to know some new thing about ssl handshake please do like and give me a comment if you have any suggestion regarding my video you can send me an email message or you can comment on the video as well and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.